everyone, welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing A Star is Born. A Star is Born is about a seasoned musician, Jackson Maine, portrayed by Bradley Cooper, who discovers and falls in love with the struggling artist, Allie, also played by Lady Gaga. She's just about given up on her career and dream to be this big singer, but until Jack brings her into the spotlight, but even as Allie's career takes off, the personal side of the relationship is breaking down, as Jack fights an ongoing battle with his own internal demons. This was a film that I was really looking forward to ever since the first trailer. The first trailer just sent that unnerving, shivering goosebumps down my spine and got me just hyped. It got me just dying to see this movie. And I'll go as far as to say, believe the hype. This movie is not just an amazing film, not just a spectacle, not just fantastic this is a definition of what masterclass filmmaking is, and I'll go as far as to say this film is a masterpiece. When they announced this film and Bradley Cooper said he was going to be directing it, I was a little bit iffy. I was like, the fourth adaption, the fourth remake, whatever you want to call it, of a film that we've seen multiple times before, a story told many times, but after seeing what Bradley Cooper has turned in on this movie, I understand why. He brought a different element to this film and something that's unique to itself. It, it tells the same story but also tells it in a different type of way. In a modern type of way as well, this is just fantastic. To be honest, I don't even know where to start with this movie, so I guess I'll start with the performances. The performances in here are great. You got Andrew Dice Clay playing Allie's father, who is just superb. He turns in a great performance. Dave Chappelle shows up for a little bit. He's fantastic. Sam Elliott is going to get nominated for Best Supporting Actor. He was brilliant. There's one scene in here in particular earlier on in the film where you're like, yep, that's the moment they're going to show in the Oscars. And Bradley Cooper, might I say, turns in probably the best performance of his career. This guy turned into Jackson Maine. I did not recognize Bradley Cooper. I just saw Jackson himself. But my God, you've heard it here. I'm not the first person to say it. I'm not going to be the last. Lady Gaga will win Best Actress this year in at the Oscars. I have no doubt in my mind. I will be utterly shocked if she doesn't. Her performance in here, again, some people might say, oh, well, the role was written for her. It doesn't. She does something so bad beautiful and so magnificent with this role yes she's a singer and of course she's amazing at singing in here i mean my god but it's her performance her subtleties that she puts in here and it takes a fantastic director to get that out of her and might i say a fantastic actress to portray that on the screen get emotional with her you believe in her character and you end up falling in love with just as much as she does with jackson maine you fall in love with her character as well and the relationship you fall in love with the story that the movie is telling and again bradley cooper's foray into the directing it's something i gotta what is this guy gonna do next it is superb this is one of the best directed films I've seen in a very long time. And he does a lot of subtle nuances to the movie. One of my favorite things that he does is, of course, Jackson Maine is an alcoholic in this film. And one of the things that he does is when Jackson is drunk or Jackson is uncontrollable, the film, the way that the camera shifts, it gets very kind of grungy and unfocused, but also gets it in a way that's not distracting at the least, but makes you feel drunk with Jackson and very on the edge of your seat, unnerved on what is Jackson going to do? What is he going to be as he's being this alcoholic guy? And it's really cool how Bradley Cooper decided to direct and shoot the film in that light. You can really tell this, especially where it seems with him and Allie, where they're sitting there talking and maybe it goes to him being all drunk. The camera will get all in focus, but when it goes back to Allie, it's perfectly still. And that is something that is very unique to say. And I, I have to imagine that Bradley Cooper did this intentionally. Multiple shots throughout the movie where it's doing this on purpose and that is what a masterclass director can do he shoots a film great he gets fantastic performances and that's why i'm going far to say i think bradley cooper my god man you are here to direct and we also talk about the music in here because that is one of the core cruxes of the movie if the music does not work can the whole film work at all but it works wholeheartedly i cannot wait to listen to all these songs on repeat lady gaga's voice is phenomenal we already know that but bradley cooper's voice as a singer you can tell this guy poured his heart and soul and not just directing but as in this performance as he's bringing these songs out he's bringing them to life where you're getting into your seat it just feels like a concert this film felt like a spiritual journey with these characters where you're with them the whole entire ride through and it's one of those films where in a sense it does feel like a concert it feels like an experience when you watch this film with other people in a big theater and might I say 
please see this film in the biggest theater that you can. Because those concert scenes, those musician scenes, are ones that you want to see on the biggest screen possible. Definitely listen to this music on the biggest speakers out loud. I do want to say one of my favorite things about the movie is the cinematography. There's a couple scenes in here where my jaw just dropped and I was like, yep, that's one damn perfect moment in here. Absolutely loved A Star is Born. This is easily my favorite film of the year. It stole my heart. It took it by storm. And it turns out to be one of the best films I've seen in a very, very long time. I loved it. I loved every part of it. I found myself getting emotionally enwrapped within the whole story with great performances, with a brilliant, magnificent direction from Bradley Cooper, and just a film that really a film that fits the title the most. A Star is Born has many stars rising up in this film. Bradley Cooper, we already know he's a great actor. This guy is a rising star in the directing category. And Lady Gaga, my God, we know she's a fantastic singer. But look out for her name when it comes next Oscar season because she will be winning that best actress. She is a new star. This film is a star. It really is the example of what masterclass filmmaking is. So with all that said, I'm going to give A Star is Born an A+. I find myself getting a little bit emotional here talking about this movie. I cannot wait to see this film again. Tell me, guys, what are your guys' thoughts on A Star is Born? Are you guys excited to see it? Have you been looking forward to it? Have you already seen it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments, guys. Of course, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below because if you guys want to see advanced movie screens, there's some early screens going out for First Man and some other films going out soon, so make sure to check out our website. Also, hit up some movie news and also some movie reviews while you're there. Of course, guys, until next time. Stay classy and have a great rest of your day.